Well, I'm not sure what my intro will be, but this will be a first in a series of videos where I'll help you create, maintain, and grow your photography business. Or if you're already a better photographer than me, which you might be, then I'll help you stay up to date with current news about photography. I always find it's best to learn from other people's mistakes, especially when those mistakes are ruining the biggest day of your client's life and they hate you for the rest of So with this first video, I wanted to go over creating your photography business. Whether it's your first time or if you're trying to grow your business, this should definitely be able to help you out. I first started my photography business in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, which is where I was born and raised. And it's probably one of the worst cities to get started in. There's not a lot of people there. There's not a lot of money there. And most people just don't seem to care about creative arts, photography, things like that. I've recently moved to Austin, Texas. I feel like the quality and the amount of clients out here is a lot better than Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I think a good place to start with your photography business is creating social media accounts. It's free and easy to use, just about every photographer has it, and they all seem to focus heavily on it, so obviously it must be doing something for them. Of course, with creating your social media accounts, you're gonna want a business name, and a lot of photographers start with their first and last name, photography. So mine was Zach Touye Photography. Clients are gonna be letting you into their house with their friends and family, even their pets, or at their work facility with their coworkers and employees. They're going to want to know who you are or who's showing up to take those photos. And before they let anyone in through their doors, they're going to search your name. So this is also a good time to clear up any unwanted videos and photos from your social media accounts because I definitely had to do the same. Also creating a logo at this time is going to help you with some backtracking later on. When you go to create your website and business cards, you'll already have your logo in place. And of course, it's going to change and evolve over time. So it's always good to get that process started early rather than later. A good way to create your first logo is finding your nearest graphic designer friend who is also struggling to make money in their career. Go to Fiverr.com or anything similar to that or just looking up tutorials on YouTube because you can learn just about everything on YouTube. Now that you've created your social media pages and your personal pages are clear of any unwanted materials, it's time to move on to the first content that you'll post. Now before you run out and buy the best Sony on the market with the fastest, sharpest lens you can find, it's always good to start with a basic camera or even your cell phone. Surprisingly, most clients can't tell the difference and it's pretty sad, but it's true. But you just need something on your page. I, like most people, started on a Canon Rebel. I actually had a Canon Rebel T3, and some of my favorite pictures to this day are from that camera. Even though now I've upgraded to the Sony series with a better lens, better body, full frame sensor, I still love some of those first images that I took with my Canon Rebel. Whether you start off with a $300 camera or a $5,000 camera, you're going to learn the same basic rules. How fast batteries die, dealing with SD cards, changing lenses, all the settings are going to be the same so your ISO, your aperture, and your shutter speed. You can learn all those fundamentals on a cheaper camera and as you work your way up to the more expensive camera, you can actually use some of that technology that comes with that big price tag. Now that you've got your social media created and you have your first camera or your cell phone is pulled out of your pocket, that's terrible. Now that you got your social media created, you have your first camera, or you're using your cell phone, now it's on to getting your first content for your social media. The way I got started with getting content from my social media was volunteering for events. It taught me a lot about my camera, moving indoors to outdoors quickly, why all your photos are blurry, and dealing with dead batteries and full SD cards. But during this time, you'll also be working on social skills, which is something that not a lot of photographers talk about, but it's something that I think is very necessary if you want to run a successful photography business or any kind of business. I was the kind of person at the time that I was too shy to walk up even to a single person and ask them to take a photo, much less go up to a group of people and demand them to turn around and make a silly face for me. So this was something that was very difficult for me at the time. I was a little embarrassed of it. And uh, a lot of my first events, I didn't have too many good group photos. I would just kind of hang out awkwardly in the corner with the 200 millimeter and zoomed in and staying as far away from people as I could while trying to get a shot that looks like I was at least somewhat close to them. I was sort of social distancing before that was even ever a thing. Now working on your camera fundamentals and your social skills, it's also a good time to start networking with people, asking when's the next upcoming event, if they need a photographer for anything that they have going on at home, family sessions, engagements, or anything dealing with their job. And all of this is gonna help you out later in your career when you're covering these events and you don't even have to think about this kind of stuff, you're just sort of doing it automatically. So now you've created your business name, maybe you have a logo, 
you have a social media accounts, and you even have some content for people to view. It's time to start investing some money into your business, into yourself really, that's gonna pay off for you in the future with interest. This means doing things like creating your first website. This is gonna help a lot when people go to search for you. It always looks a lot better when you have a website to showcase your portfolio. This is also a good time to create your business cards as well. And whenever you go to these new events, when you're doing these networking and socializing, hand them a business card. I found that handing out a business card to someone gives me a better return on my investment than most of the ads I created. You're there face to face with them, you're shaking their hand, they already know who you are, they already feel comfortable with you. If they go for any photographer, even if you're not as skilled as some of the ones that they see online, they might go with you just because they already met you and they already kind of like you. The best thing to do here also is to just don't give up and keep putting the work back into it. Keep putting money back into the business. Keep repeating, going to events, trying to find free clients to shoot. When I started off, I shot so many free clients at first, people already thought I was running a successful business. And this is really just gonna fill up your portfolio, give you all the fundamental skills that you need, and you're gonna be doing the networking and a lot of word of mouth will start to happen and you'll start to get clients naturally. And when these new clients start seeing your social media, your website, your business cards, they're already gonna feel comfortable with paying you money and it's not even gonna be a question that you have to ask. They're just gonna say, hey, what's the price for your services? And in a later video, we'll talk about how to accept some of those forms of payment, whether it's cash, check, card, or if you're going through services like PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, anything like that. We'll go over all that in a later video. Anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Please like and subscribe, hit the bell icon. I really don't even know what it does, but everybody says to do that. So hopefully this helped you out a little bit and please stay tuned for the next video.